I think they're on a different level than we are. I don't know. A lot of that stuff, like the, you know, the model of the atom with like the nucleus and protons. What comes up with that? Around. How do you just like that? Isn't that isn't like proven either? It's like a theory. Like they said, the Bohr model, which was like the simple model, was the first one, and that's all theory now. And then they have the quantum mechanic model, which is supposed to be the super advanced model of the atom and how like the electrons zoom around it and stuff but it's all theory they don't know that for a fact because no. if you can't ever see anything it can't be proven exactly yeah I, I agree with that but uh, if i don't physically see it i don't believe it so do you believe in atoms no i haven't seen them yet <laughs> once they prove them to me then yes actually they uh did find a microscope where you can see atoms evidently yeah they I can don't... see like a sheet of gold and they look like just tiny balls i haven't seen it yet they haven't forwarded me that message or picture so but yeah, I used to, uh, well, just like two months ago or something, I was teaching chemistry and all that stuff was like, whoa. How, chemistry like, is so much work and, and it, confusing. And like none of it really makes sense. The more you think about it and the more you know, yeah, the more it doesn't make sense. I think the more you get confused. I took chemistry in college and <laughs> <laughs> they're like, you got to do this and add the proton noodle and I'm like. All right, I'm just going to drop all. Save everyone a favor. You don't have to waste your time teaching me. Yeah, but I don't know. A lot of this stuff's just useless anyways. <laughs> like, you're never going to use it in... No, if it doesn't apply to what you're going to be doing later on in life, then I don't see the point of taking it. Yeah, that's probably my biggest gripe with college. Usually my that... model is follow your heart, and I just wouldn't go with that. Hey, you know what we should do? We should make a t-shirt that says follow your heart. You should. Should it say follow your, then have a heart symbol, or just say follow your heart? Hmm, it's kind of borderline. Would you rather wear a t-shirt that says follow your heart or a t-shirt that had a picture of me that says Bucky underneath? i take that one. <laughs> I think you'd catch more people's attention. Exactly. And then you have your thing on the back. Have some on the back, too. I want to do that. Like a bony fish or something we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joey was uh like complaining to me because these t-shirts we're giving away today, they have a star with a new Boston under them. But uh, he's maybe like, that's you should take a poll on what they would like on it. Okay, I think that'd be a good idea. So, what so would what's you your like? Idea? The fish. Let's have a fish or something, or a turtle <laughs> or something. I said the new Boston on it. It's something creative to catch people's eyes. Would you rather uh, give away T-shirts with fish on them or T-shirts with your face on them? <laughs> that'd be interesting. We could have our faces on them. Yeah, we should do that too. Should we have Bucky and Joe? Be yeah, both of our faces. Why don't we? Let's see what they said. Take a poll on that for real. Okay. Well. Before we put a just send bunch comments of or something. Yeah, before we put a bunch of ideas in your just clear your mind and write what would you like mm-hmm. on a t shirt? Or if you guys want to send me links to a t shirt that you guys like, I can kind of steal the design. So uh or if one of you guys wants to like has a good design in mind and you guys want to send it to me, if you come up with an awesome design, then I'll make it and send you a free t shirt from it. And if we don't like it, we'll just throw it away. It's <laughs> exactly. the worst that could happen. It'd make fun of you on air. So everyone Even can... better. <laughs> nah, we won't do that to you guys. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Also, how do you guys think the show could be better? I want to know that, too. Be mean. Be mean? Yeah, the meaner the better. No, that's not good. What? Because they'll be like, don't have the show anymore. I hate it all. Nah, they won't say that. They won't okay. be watching it if they want to do that. That's true. But uh, here's the thing. Whenever you're like... I don't know. What what do you like to do? Play football or something? Okay. If you if you were playing football right now and you went to your family and you're like, okay, how can I improve as a football player? Your grandma's gonna be like, oh, you're great. You're the best football player. I'm not gonna ever. say anything negative to you. Yeah, exactly. That's and you, you need some douchebag to yell at you. Exactly. It's like okay, that's nice. That might build my confidence, but that's not gonna build my skills. That's not any helpful criticism. But then when you have a coach who's like, you need to stand like this and you need to hold your hand out and put your shoulders lower, then that's actually advice that can make you better. So Yeah, but it's one of those things like with this show, don't fix it if it's not broken. Well, I don't What's, know. I think the show's awesome. I do too, and uh like I enjoy I it a lot. Show. But at the too. same time, I always want to make it better. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is with that, if you get it so good, then it's like too good and then people are like, eh. <laughs> I like the better when it was crappier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they might say that. <laughs> like, oh, this cake is this cake is too uh, good. <laughs> Give me some crappier cake. 